What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Ask the Cheese Gaming. Welcome back to another video game review. This week, I'm going to take a look at The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. This one's going to be a little bit different. This is going to be more of a let's play review because I mean, you know, surely who hasn't heard of Majora's Mask? Let me start the video off right away by saying this game is... Whoop, I need to get out of this guy's way. This game is absolutely a must-own for anyone with a Nintendo 64. If you have a Nintendo 64 and you don't own this game, you definitely want to try to rectify that sooner rather than later. So, what makes this game so good? Well, for starters, it has fantastic controls, wonderful music and sound effects. I mean, the OST to this game, while it's a bit, you know, creeping, kind of on the dark side, it's, it's just absolutely fantastic. In fact, I'll even leave a link to it down in the description below. If you ever want something that's kind of, you know, a little bit darker in the franchise and kind of creepy, I would definitely recommend checking it out. Like I said, it's got wonderful controls, which are very similar to the Ocarina of Time, so anyone who's ever played Ocarina of Time, the control, controls will feel right at home to you. Next, it's got great level design, which is the various areas, like you can see why right now we're walking around on Terminia, which is kind of the Hyrule field of this area, and we're going to be heading over to the Woodfall, which is the Deku's place. And that actually takes me to the next really cool feature of this game, which is in this one, as compared to, say, Ocarina of Time, or even... A link to the past all the masks in this game actually do something yeah we got a nice little cutscene here so I'm gonna let this play for a second and we'll continue talking about this game oh I remember this Tael and I drew this with a skull kid when we first met him how exactly did a fairy draw something he told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they had left him all alone Poor Skull Kid, he just wants some friends. Got a quick little cutscene. Look at how happy he looks. <laughs> Gotta love it, which actually takes me to a new area of this game. Fantastic character design. I mean, the Dark Fairy, the Light Fairy, and the Skull Kid, and all the other the first cast of characters in this game. And there it is, once you get his power. So like I said, we get great controls, great level design. I mean, the temples in this game are just absolutely phenomenal. Though I will say that the water level in this game is just the veritable bane of my existence. I hate that stupid level. It always kicks my butt. The masks are all feel unique. Most of them all do something or cause something to happen. So you're constantly switching them around and using them for different purposes, whether it's to talk to someone or to 
to trigger something to happen. Ooh, speaking of, we can get our, speaking of wonderful little cast of characters, we can get our little buddy to come down here. Ah, dang it. Go away, little jellyfish. I like that you can so seamlessly pull that mask on and off. Hi, Tingle. Oh, I was too low. There we go. It's got one of the coolest levels in a, you know, of these generations of Zelda games. White fairy. Oh my god. My name is Tingle, and the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas, I'm already age 35, and no fairies come to me yet. Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. See, he sells you your maps. Guess we'll buy a Woodfall map. Now we get one of Clock Tower and one of Woodfall. Next area we're in. Call again. Tingle, tingle, kalul, and pa. I love that. It's a wonderful cast of characters. They all feel unique. Really, I mean, there's so many parts in this game that just make me laugh out loud or chuckle. It's just the randomness of everything that happens. Southern Swamp. Dun, dun, dun. Uh-oh. And, hmm, where, oh, where do we go now? I wonder. Later on, we get to go on a boat ride. Kind of cool. Now, speaking of other wonderful things, great level design, great controls. Potion shop near the, okay, red, red, red. And I gotta talk to him as well. Uh-oh. Pictograph. I think I can enter this contest. I thought you were supposed to give me a camera. Yeah, hey, there we go. Good. Got the camera. Go for a boat ride. And she's not here. She's out in the swamp and we gotta go help her out. So, in typical Zelda fashion, got to do one thing to do another, to do another, to do another. In a livelier place. And time to hop down. So, wonderful area. I mean, yeah. Woodfall, or the snow mountain, or the water level. I mean, the stone temple is just, that level is just cool. Very unique. Great use of the masks, which really takes me one of the, one of the first negatives. And mind you, I'm really trying to reach here. Which is, you know, there's a couple masks that you get later on in this game, and I won't really spoil it for anyone who hasn't played it. There's two of them. And you only get to use them once in the game, which is kind of a bummer. And these are going to be all the negatives that I have for the game. And mind you, I'm really, really reaching here. Next part is, whenever you beat a boss in any of the major areas in the game, it changes the area around it. Well, oftentimes when you're doing side quests and other missions, which there's a whole abundance of, which is absolutely awesome. There's always a lot to do whenever you play the game. You know, sometimes you need the area to be one way or the other. So oftentimes you're rebeating those bosses in specific areas over and over and over. That can get kind of tedious. Next neg negative that I really have is the stupid little bank teller. Whenever you want to deposit rupees or get rupees, she always is like, Oh, I don't know who you are. Who are you again? And she has to stop and look at you. It's like, why can't you just take your stupid rupees out and just be done with it? But mind you, I'm really trying to reach on the, on, you know, every single one of these. 
Now a little fun fact about this game. This is actually one of only two gold carts on the Nintendo 64. However, there did exist a gray version of Majora's Mask, which you might still be able to find, but if you ever see it, be very, very careful with it because the gray version was not for resale and was for display purposes only and had a giant not for resale marking on the cartridge. I think places like EB Games and GameStop and some of those other stores back in the day had them and used it as a display. So if you ever see a gray cartridge that's just out in the wild that doesn't have that on the label, well, you know it's fake. So be careful if you ever decide you want to get this game. The other gold cartridges, of course, being Ocarina of Time, which that one is not solely gold. That one has a couple different versions. I forget what we have to go off the top of my head. It's been a while. Last time I played this was the 3DS version, and some of these areas get, get changed around in the order in which you have to do things. Okay, here we go. Gotta hop on the little paths. At least I believe we do. A little frog quest. That's a fun little quest. Feels so successful when you eventually get all the frogs together. Can I talk to him? Oh no, that's right. I need the frog. I need the frog mask. And I went right in the water. Didn't quite make the jump. There we go. Now we got there. Oh, and he shot me away. Whoopsies. Oh, I think I'm supposed to stand on that. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to stand here. And then I gotta reflect this back over to him. Where is he at? Whoop. Ah, come on, there we go. So like I said, negatives of the game, really just, you know, the having to rebeat certain bosses over and over can be kind of tedious. The little bank teller, the fact that in certain parts of the game you only get to use a mask once or twice. And beyond just the usage of the mask, there's nothing really, you know, totally brand new to this game in uh, regards of, you know, weapons in comparison to Ocarina of Time. So this game definitely kind of almost feels like the you know, uh, black sheep of the Zelda franchise in a way, if that makes any sense. I forget what I'm supposed to do here. I don't remember. Oh, that's right. I need the little boat. Okay. So I gotta go elsewhere. I gotta go. Oh, that's right. Okay. Now I remember all what I'm supposed to do. I gotta go into the woods and I gotta go find the witch and then I gotta go get the, have one witch give the other one the potion. Then I could take the boat ride and that knocks that guy out. Okay. Oh, the little fun things you get to play in a Zelda. And speaking of, while well, I'm talking about Zelda and everything else, I recently did a similar play style of review. Just kind of ad lib off the cup, no real script to it or anything else so if you guys enjoy these more just kind of watching me play the game while i discuss the game feel free to leave me a comment down below and let me know that's your kegs potion chap all right we gotta go into the forest oh go away i'm not interested in you okay so let's go into the forest and i think hey we get to meet our favorite little buddy we get to go and meet the monkey So if you prefer these kind of style of reviews over my, say, more structured ones where I just kind of go real quickly, briefly about the game, let me know. I try to do my reviews a little bit more structured. Oh, you little faker. I swear those, it always sounds like those turtles are saying Affleck. This video is, of course, in no way, shape, or form sponsored by Aflac and the Aflac Duck. 
Just saying, I swear it always sounds, it sounds like they're saying Affleck. Ah, uh, crap. I don't know which way they're going. No, I don't think it's that one. Ah, oh, I guessed wrong. Dang it. Usually if you get close enough, you can tell. This video was, of course, also got a big high-def upgrade on the 3DS, which is a wonderful port. I know the Majora's Mask and just the Zelda games in general for the Nintendo 64 can command a bit of a price tag. You probably could find an emulator of them online, so if, they, so if you're just solely interested in playing them, that is a route that you can take. But personally, I think they're, you know, much more worth just having in your collection. I'm glad that I finally have this one in my collection again. And I have both versions. There she is. <laughs> Pesky school kid. Oops. And now we gotta go talk to the witch's sister in the potion shop. And then to do that, then that lets us go on the boat ride and that knocks out the octopus for us. And then we get to the actual area where the water's poisoned. Spoilers. And speaking of, as I'm sitting here playing this game, if this is something you'd like to see me do more of a just regular let's play and just watch me actually play it, leave me a comment down below and let me know. Recently did a no commentary opening. I love that reaction. That's just fantastic. I would say that this game's my favorite in the Zelda franchise, but it's I definitely do enjoy it, and it's one I come back randomly to play every now and again. <laughs> a no good sister of mine. Take this potion to her. Hey, we got a first bottle. Cool. And then later on, when we get the spoiler mask, then we get to give her the blue mushrooms, which we can find. We put them in the bottle, and then she gives us a blue potion, which is kind of cool. Lots and lots of backtracking. Follow me. And hey, what song do we have? The Lost Woods. Sarah song! What a fantastic song. I just listened to this on repeat for so long. Ah, no. Don't run away from me, little monkey. Ah! I did not mean to pick that up. Oh boy, I might die. Uh, uh oh. Taking too much damage from the stupid little. See if we can find a heart in some of these shrubs here, real quick. A rupee? Well, I guess that, I guess that helps, and maybe we can buy one. Yay, there she is. Okay, and we gotta equip the potion. Use that, which brings life. I call her that smell. I love how she just instantly pops up. This part's great. And burps out red. And off she goes after a cackle. And now we're out of here and we get to go talk to the monkeys. And speaking of, if you ever do play this game, make sure, huge, huge thing you definitely want to do, play the Song of Inverted Time, which is pretty much the Song of Time backwards, and it slows down the flow of time to half speed. It makes this game so much easier. Temple above waterfall, strange, brother go to temple. But brother no able to find temple entrance. Temple for Deku only. Brother captured by Deku, now in palace. Help! Hmm, gee, I wonder what I was supposed to do there. All right, let's go buy a potion. I think each potion we get two little whatever from. So we'll go get ourselves a quick potion here. Now, like I said previously, if you guys are interested in hearing a uh, more of my structured reviews or if this one's kind of more in your alley and you're still here this far into the review, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate watching it all the way through. My potions work very well, they do. Uh, let's go buy one. 
Yeah, hey, perfect. We got just enough. Good. Oh, and we can drink it. Chug, chug, chug. We are revived. Whopping little three hearts that we have. I think this game is supposed to take place during the uh, seven years that Link was sleeping. I don't know. There's all the can canon and timeline gets very convoluted and confusing. I feel like you need a you know 60 page manual and master you know translator guide and manual and oh my god just to figure it all out. Oops. Okay, good. That didn't use any magic. So, oh, we'll go talk to the other lady, and we'll hop in the boat ride. And like I said, if you want to see more of this game, which is The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask for the Nintendo 64. Made and developed by Nintendo. The North American release date of October 26, 2000. Leave me a comment down below. Thanks for all, so much for watching my Let's Play and Review. Until next time, everybody.